the question I'm putting on the center stage face off tonight did the cops in Manila botch up the rescue operation I'm joined by three of the country's top counter terror and internal security experts joining us tonight a Ajit Doval former chief of the intelligence bureau we've also got with us B Raman a former additional secretary of the research and analysis wing and with me in the studio major general VK Datta former DDG military operations special operations in the army headquarters I want to come to you Mr. Doval first you're looking at this operation you got a smile on your face it seems to be the most amateurish operation that has been seen in a very long time it was being broadcast all across the world take our viewers sir, through what the problems in the execution of this operation were how did the police in Manila get this operation so terribly wrong General that I'm going to go across to Mr. Doval in just a moment. I want you to begin by answering that question. You know, we're seeing these images over here. We see the cops, the Manila cops, go into this bus. They jump through the window. Suddenly, they get fired at. Clearly, their assessment of the enemy was not strong because the enemy saw them come and they walked into his trap. Uh, you're absolutely right. In fact, uh, uh, hostage rescue operation is one of the most difficult operations which can be carried out by any special force and uh, we work out on a surprise element of three to five seconds and once you strike the target the target has to be struck from all directions simultaneously and uh, with the aim that the terrorist or the person who's holding hostages does not get an opportunity to engage either way so therefore the principle of uh, hostage rescue and especially a bus intervention uh, was totally done in a very immature manner and I personally feel that uh, the troops and the boys of the police, that the Manila police who went in for this operation were not actually trained uh, to actually handle a bus intervention for a hostage rescue. Okay, you're saying every principle of hostage rescue was violated in this particular case. Mr. Doval, you've been looking at the television screen very carefully. Take our viewers through the major problems you saw in the manner in which the Manila police went about executing this operation, sir. I think the whole drama right from the beginning uh, to me appears that it was a little flat-footed uh, application. To begin with, it was very clear that there is one hostage taker. There is one demand which can be negotiated and at least he could be engaged and he was not so desperate that he had done any damage in first 5-6 hours. It is the first one hour or half an hour which is most crucial when there is a commotion. After that the things had settled and I had seen the visual when he had come right up to the steps of the bus when he was talking to two police officers. Any good sniper operation could have taken him, he was alone and he could have been targeted. Absolutely. But besides that, the fact that the, the fact that the, the the negotiators were not able to engage him, and after all, even if for the sake of argument, even if during the hostage negotiation his demand was considered, it is it later anything could have been done or a new case could have been registered against him, which was much worse and probably would have entailed much greater punishment. Now the fact remains that hostage negotiations are not negotiations; they are essentially done for three purposes. Firstly, to gain the time and ensure the safety of the hostages. Secondly, to collect the intelligence about the hijacker and tire him, tire him out. And thirdly, to prepare yourself for an assault action. Now, some, there was sufficient time for first 7-8 hours. That is, all these things could have been done. Now, none of these were achieved. And, and I think as uh, Jagdata has said, that when the action was daily executed, it was done in a totally haphazard and confused way. Firstly, so much of a crowd around, so many of cameras around. And you know, what is surprising is that after one gate from which the driver escaped, when that was available, why that exit thing was not immediately seized and probably an entry could have been forced from there. 